Good morning. Today I want to show you how to make one of my favorite dishes and it's cabbage. The reason I love cabbage The reason I love cabbage is because it is nutrient rich. It's packed with nutrients. It has vitamin C. It helps with heart health. It has antioxidant. It helps with inflammation, with gut health. It is so versatile. You can make it with you can make salad with it, eat it raw. You can cook it and make a stew or gravy. You can make sauerkraut and so many more. This one vegetable is so delicious, but yet versatile. So today I want to show you a new way to make cabbage, to make fried cabbage. First, I will set the aside and show you all my ingredients. I have tomatoes, ripe tomatoes. All these things I have on here, they are already washed and clean. They are ready to go. I have two garlic, raw garlic. I have my habanero pepper. I have half a white onion. I have my um, smoked fish. I washed this salt off because I don't like mine to have too much salt on it. My cabbage. I have my boing cube. I have my shrimp. My shrimp, I did not take the peel off because when you're cooking a stew, when you keep the, the peel on it, it helps make it flavorful. It keeps the juicy. I have black pepper. I have my olive oil. I have water. And now I'm ready to go. First, before we start cutting our cabbage and getting it ready, the first thing to do is to take your shrimp, put it in your pot, because you want to steam it. Put your shrimp in your pot. Get you, get you a cup of water. Put that on there. Take a little bit of your boiling cube, just sprinkle it on top of this, a little bit. Get some black pepper. Season it. You get, you get you some garlic powder. Pour a little bit on top. All right, close it up. And it's ready to go. Let it steam while you prepare your cabbage. While your, your shrimp is steaming, it's time for you to cut your cabbage. Now the first thing to do is get your cabbage, cut the top of it. Take this off, always. Now, cut it down the middle. down the middle. I have two halves. So now I'm gonna cut, cut my cabbage into another half and now it's time to slice it. I love my cabbage to be cut in small pieces, not big chunks. So then I cut it in like that. That put it in my bowl. Once my cabbage is cut, what I need to do now is get my tomato, cut it, ok 
Okay, you want you want to puree your tomato, set that aside, and now get ready for the interesting part. It's done steaming. Put this aside. Now our shrimp is done. We are about to start with our cabbage. What are we gonna do first is I want half cup of oil. Half of it, not a whole cup, but just a half. Okay, put it into your pot. Now you want to you want to take your your tomato puree and put it into your pot. Watch your tomato sauce is frying. You start to get your other ingredients ready. What you do is cut your onion. this put it in your blender grab your garlic put it in your blender you have a little pepper into your blender and now get your smoke fish so, yeah take your smoke fish put it in there Now, crush it. Don't puree it, crush it. That is okay. Stop. Put it aside. And get back to your sauce. Let your sauce fry until it dry up, the water in it dry up, and then we'll put in our cabbage. This is how you want it to be before you put in your cabbage just like that you see the tomato sauce the water dry up now it's all tomato sauce and oil now i'm gonna add my cabbage to this put in your cabbage and you want to stir it Call it, call it up for three to four minutes and you wait. After three minutes, I open it up, stir it, stir it, and now you want to add in, you want to add in your spices. Now that I added the smoked fish, the onion, the garlic, look at that. What the smoked fish does is that it gives it that smoky flavor. And then the garlic and the onions and the habanero will just top it on and make it more flavorful. Now you want to add in some boiling cube. You don't want too much because remember you season your shrimp already, okay? Alrighty. Let it sit there and let close it and let it fry. Give it like two to three minutes. Let it fry. Let it, let it um, flavor combine, come together. And then you can add in your shrimp. Now let it sit there and let the water dry out of there a little bit. And then I will add in my shrimp. So now this has been cooking for three minutes. Now you stir it. Now we're gonna add in our shrimp and the juices. Look at all that. Mm -mm -mm. Look at that. Stir it. Now we'll let it cook. I took the lid off. And now I'm gonna let it cook until the water dry up. Now the water has dried out of it. And it's just the juice that we need that's left. So now I think it's done.
Now this is done. It's ready to be eaten. You can eat it like that. You can eat it with rice, steam rice. You can eat it however way you think. But this is so delicious. So, so delicious. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. This is so delicious. Thank you for watching. And thank you for the support, for the love. Don't forget when you make this, leave me a comment. Tell me what you think. I love to hear your comment. I love you. You guys take care of yourself. Stay healthy. And God bless you. Bye-bye.